what is going on guys smooth racing here back with a brand new video and today then we've got our f1 2014 team previews and today then it is the williams team so they've just unveiled their new martini livery just the other thursday i think it was can't quite remember the day but uh, yeah definitely a very nice looking car and hopefully we'll be seeing this car at the front because it was definitely one of the dark horses of testing and uh, definitely a team to be watching out for in 2014 especially the drivers because they have got a really strong driver pairing definitely i think the strongest one of the strongest of the uh, midfield so really good driver pairing and hopefully the car will be good for williams because there are a lot of rumors that it's got they've got a really nice car some really nice aerodynamics i mean i'm not sure how a team can go from a you know only scoring a few points last year to actually making this 2014 car so good apparently you know because if you look at the testing times there were some really good laps put in by both bottas and massa you know there was second fastest team in testing behind mercedes i doubt that will carry on to the season where i can't see williams being the second fastest but definitely i think you know they are a potential race winning team perhaps even in 2014 but i think the main target for them will be scoring points every race i think that's what claire williams had or has already laid down definitely just improving off last year and really getting a good break this year because i think this could be a really good chance for a team like williams to pounce when maybe teams like red bull and lotus aren't doing so well you know they could sort of leapfrog them in the standings if they get a good year but we'll have to see definitely not championship you know i can't definitely can't see him doing that race wins a possibility we'll have to see but uh Williams, you know, could be a surprise bet even for the first race of the season. Might even be worth a bet, you know, if just putting one down. Because uh, the reliability, I say, would probably be the best on of the field. Um, really good. Only broke down once, and that was when they pushed the car to the limit. So uh, really good stuff from Williams, and definitely an exciting prospect for the 2014 season. And the drivers then, Felipe Massa, he's had 193 starts. He's 32 years of age. He's got 11 wins, 36 podiums, 816 career points. And I think at Williams, Felipe Massa has got a lifeline. He's got a second chance to reboot his career. This is almost like a second career for him. You know, he spent most of his career at Willi you know, at Ferrari or at a Ferrari Power Unit team like Sauber. But I think, you know, it's very important year for Felipe Massa. If it doesn't go well for him, I could see him retiring. Uh, after this year but I think definitely probably he's got two more years at least in Formula 1 and we'll have to see how he does you know hopefully he can do well and uh, hopefully he can thrive at his new home and uh, possibly beat Bottas it's going to be an interesting pairing I think because Felipe Massa is obviously well liked and he has won races in the past but of course after that incident uh, after that accident in Hungary he lost a lot of his pace I'm not sure why you know obviously just I don't know if it's because of injuries or it's had to change his driving style i'm not quite sure but massa hasn't really been on the pace in previous years the simple fact is you know he got outclassed by fernando alonso there's no other way around it you know for the past four years and this is his chance with a new team but he could have another problem with this uh valtteri bottas a finnish dude from finland um he got 19 starts last year so you know he started every grand prix last year and of course he just got four points last year all of course in that's a USA American Grand Prix, which is a really good race for Bottas. And Bottas had some put in some really good performances um, throughout the 2013 season, especially in Canada qualifying. Definitely well remembered for that. And we could be seeing some great qualifying performances from Bottas. And I think Massa is probably quite a good qualifier as well. You know, he's quite renowned for that. He's got 15 pole positions, so that's a pretty good record for him. And hopefully we'll see... Massa return to form and hopefully scoring some podiums and I actually probably predict that Massa could actually get more podiums this year for Williams than he did last year for Ferrari so a really exciting season ahead for Williams definitely a team to watch for the 2014 season new livery and of course Rob Smedley joining Massa it's kind of like a dream team it's not you know Pat Simmons coming in it's all kind of a you know one big happy family but it's all sort of starting to form and shape up for the new season and there could be a great surprise from Williams so if you're looking team, if you're looking for the dark horse to surprise you, I definitely put a bet on Williams. To finish off then, as always, I'll be giving them a target, and I think Williams to be very ambitious. From what we've seen so far, I think a top five in the constructors would be an ultimate aim. Uh, definitely top seven, I think, for them. They need to beat the you know the sort of some of the, the lower teams. Definitely Toro Rosso and uh, Sauber. I think they can probably beat at least four teams: Caterham, Russia, Sauber, and Toro Rosso, and maybe. 
even some of the teams like Lotus and Force India if they slip up. So really good stuff from Williams and we'll have to see where they are in the first race. Really looking forward to it. And I think both of the drivers will be wanting a top 10 in the drivers' championship. And definitely podiums for both of them will be the ultimate aim. And maybe even a race win. So you can leave your thoughts and opinions then on the Williams team and their chances of success in 2014 down in the comments down below. If you've liked this video then be sure to like it, share and subscribe for weekly F1 and motorsport content. But I'm Peace Move Racing then and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.